Most students and teachers agree that factoring a trinomial where the leading coefficient is 1 is much easier than to try to factor something like this polynomial, 12x squared plus x minus 6. So I'm going to show you a technique that utilizes this coefficient of 1, um, and we'll start by just forgetting about that 12 completely. Let's just rewrite this, x squared plus x. And at this point, what we'll do is we'll, we will consider the 12 and the minus 6. We'll multiply those together and get negative 72. And in fact, this is the trinomial that we'll be worried about factoring. Luckily, most students can see that this factors easily into x plus 9 times x minus 8. At this point, we're going to go back to that leading coefficient of 12, and we're going to use it to divide both the 9 and the 8. So we're looking at something like x plus 9 over 12 and x minus 8 over 12. Both of these fractions can reduce. So let's reduce them. Um, 9 twelfths reduces to 3 fourths, and 8 twelfths reduces to 2 thirds. And now we'll be using these numbers to find our factors for the original 12x squared plus x minus 6. In fact, all we have to do is take the denominators, let those be our leading coefficients for the two binomials, and then we continue to bring down the plus 3 and the minus 2. So that's how we can utilize a leading coefficient of 1 to try to solve more complex trinomials. So let's work through another example. This one 4x squared minus 4x minus 35. The first thing that we do is we remove the leading coefficient and the last term. So we're left with x squared minus 4x. We take that leading coefficient and the last term and multiply them together. So now we have x squared minus 4x minus 140 that I'm trying to factor. Notice I've converted this to a trinomial that has a leading coefficient of 1. In general, those are easier to factor, and students may easily see that that factors into x minus 14 and x plus 10. At that point, we divide the 14 and the 10 by that leading coefficient of 4. Reducing those fractions, 4 over 14 reduces to 7 over 2, and 10 over 4 reduces to 5 over 2. And we use that 2 uh, in the first, the 7 over 2, we take it down to be a leading coefficient and drop the 7. Again, the 2 in the denominator becomes a leading coefficient. And we bring down the 5. So 4x squared minus 4x minus 35 factors into 2x minus 7 and 2x plus 5. 